Hey Planner Babes, Ashley here. Today we are going to be getting the monthly section of my social media set up for the month of April. The sticker books I'm going to be using are the Jewel Toned Boxes. And I also have the Dream Seeker sticker book. And then I have the Indigo sticker book and the accessory pack. And then I also found some really, really cute washi tape that I had that has the navy and it has rose gold foiling. I was going for navy and copper, but I didn't have any washi tape that has copper foiling. It has rose gold, so a little bit different than what I was going for, but I still think it's really, really cute. And I pull it up here in just a second and I'll show it to you. Isn't it gorgeous? I cannot believe I have not used that washi tape yet. I must have just put it up there with my other washi tape and completely forgot about it. Then I also had another one that's got, um, it's rose gold, it's just rose gold. And uh, I didn't end up using that one, I did use the navy blue with the rose gold foiling though. So here we go, we are going to get started. I have actually pre-planned the entire month out and I have a video showing you how I pre-plan for a month of YouTube videos because in my social media planner I use the monthly section just for YouTube. I don't plan out Instagram or anything else inside of this. This is just where my YouTube content goes. And so um, I have that video, like I said, about pre-planning. I will link it down below. You guys can check it out if you wanna watch it and see that process. What I wanted to do in this monthly section was use some of the copper foiled boxes on both pages to help balance some things out and then spread out some navy blue boxes throughout the rest of the spread. So I went through on Monday and Wednesday, I put the copper boxes, and then you'll see throughout the rest of the month, I sprinkled in some of the navy blue. which navy boxes to use was probably the hardest part about this spread because I didn't have enough to use like the same type of sticker for every one of the videos that I needed a, a box sticker for so I ended up choosing some um, stickers that had different patterns on them and different tones of, of the uh, navy blue I think it turned out really really cute in the end I know you can't see it in this video. I showed it there a little bit in the beginning, but I do have the calendar that I use to pre-plan the month and that, based on that calendar and what days I'm posting video, I know um, what days I need to put the box stickers down. So that's how I know what stickers are gonna go where.
so I had a hard time with the washi tape it's um, the way that I wanted it to lay I wanted the, the rose gold to be on the bottom and the navy blue to be on the top so I had to go from right to left which I'm not used to I'm used to my washi tape running it from left to right so that was kind of interesting doing that but it worked out um, this week where I'm putting the washi tape you'll see me do the washi tape plus I layer a couple of box stickers over top of it and that's the week that I'm filming my daily planning routine so each day I'll just film my planning routine and what it is that I'm doing and then I will put that into a video for the following week. Here I'm just trying to find some more decorative elements. Inside of the Dream Seeker sticker book is some copper foiled stickers. One of them is this gorgeous Dreamer sticker and I really love that. It's really, really pretty and it has specs on it which I um, ended up using some more spec stickers here in just a minute. I'll show you. Hold on. Here inside of the Indigo sticker book I found this really cute sticker that says make your dreams happen and I thought that would be cute to cover up that pink box that's on the page. All right, there's the spec stickers that I'm talking about. So they're clear stickers and they just have like little sprinkles, little specks of the copper foiling. And I thought that those would be cute just to kind of sprinkle around the page a little bit to add a little bit more of a decorative element. And then I did go in afterwards and I added a few more stickers just to kind of decorate a little bit. Do you see how the stickers, the clear stickers that have like the specs and the dreamer sticker and stuff, do you see how there's like this, it's not really like a bubble, but it's like a film underneath of it. It's not, it's not a film either. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm, we're just going to call it bubbles, but do you see how you can actually see the outline of that sticker? Here I'm taking a old iTunes card that I've had for years and I like to go over my clear stickers with that and that helps take that kind of bubble or film or whatever out of it so you can't actually see the sticker. So that's a quick tip for you guys if you guys are noticing whenever you take your photos that you can see the outlines of your clear stickers. Just go over them with something. It doesn't have to be an iTunes card. It can be um, whatever kind of card that you have. It can be a disc. I've seen people do it with discs before. You can use whatever whatever you have works just fine. And here I'm just adding a couple of more decorative stickers. I found these really cute circle ones that have some of that copper foiling. One says, just be brave girl. The other one says, you are rare girl. And I thought that those were really, really cute. And then now I'm going to start filling this in. So I have that calendar there that I printed. I just get on Google. I typed in April, 2021 printable calendar. I printed that one out. That is what I use to pre-plan the month. And now I'm gonna take the information from that printed calendar and I'm gonna add it into my planner so I know what videos are gonna go on what day.
And I used the sticky note for a video idea because I wasn't sure what I wanted to title it yet. Um, I wanted to create something with some faith cards that I have that's from the Happy Planner as a part of their faith collection in their planner companion pack, which I did and I think it turned out super cute. And I will be sharing that with you guys very soon. So I just used a sticky note just to kind of jot down my idea. And then um, I did end up creating that video and now I know the title. So I took the sticky note off and wrote the title of that video um, in my planner. Now I do... For some of them, I do have the title already, like I already know what I want to title the video. For some of them, I don't. For example, on Mondays, those are plan with me days. So I just write PWM, which means plan with me. And then I write out what I'm, what planner I'm doing a plan with me on. So whether it's my catch-all planner, my social media planner. Um, and then same thing for Wednesday, those are plan with me. And I'm alternating between my hourly planner and my fitness planner. And now it is completely finished. That is the monthly section of my social media planner where I have all of my YouTube video ideas planned out. Now listen, I'm not perfect. This is not set in stone, but I do like having a general plan to go with. And it does change sometimes. So don't, don't think it's perfect because it's not. Listen, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.